Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, pardon me for my bad makeup face right now because today is going to be like a makeup try on kind of video. So recently I got a few items from one of my favorite drugstore brand Essence. And the other day I was actually going through them and I was like, you know what? I might have enough items here to do like a full face first impression kind of makeup. So which is what we are going to do today. Um, however, it's not like a one brand kind of makeup because there are a few items which I did not got from them like this time around I did not get any lip products So probably I'm just going to use any other lip colors from any other brands uh, We'll see how it goes I thought it would be fun to show you guys uh, my first impression of all these new items from Essence uh, I'm not exactly sure if anyone still does this kind of video or watch this kind of video uh, but anyway, today is going to be like a very casual, random kind of um, first impression try on video. So without further ado, I think let's just go ahead and get started. Right, so I have really prepped my face with a hydrating primer and we are going to get started on the foundation straight away. But before that, let's just get this annoying fringe out of the way. Um, just clip it back. Yeah. And we are going to start with the foundation. Uh, for the foundation, I've got the... Insta Perfect Liquid Makeup and this is in the shade number 20, very vanilla. Just look at how cute this packaging is. This has got to be the most cutest and the most tiniest liquid foundation that I've ever seen or used. Um, it says that it is a strong matte effect with waterproof and buildable coverage. So we are going to try that on right now. Uh, let me just try to cut this open first because this is totally brand new. Okay, so this is the um, packaging, this is how it looks like. I'm just going to give it a good shake. Right, so this is how the inside looks like. Okay, I think it's kind of flowing out. So let's just squeeze this on to the palette. I think this amount should be good enough. Um, not too much since it says it's buildable. Let's just see whether it really does that. So I'm going to spread this out on my face with a foundation brush and then I'll probably just pat it in with a sponge. My lid needs a little bit more. I haven't done any concealing yet, so let's just see whether do I need any concealing um, after the foundation. So I'm just going to get my um, beauty sponge and just pat it into my skin. Right, so this is one nice thin layer of the foundation. Um, however, I'm not feeling like it's a very strong coverage kind of foundation. So I think I might go in with a second layer. And I'm just going to spread this again um, evenly on my face. Right, so this is the second layer done. However, I think I might need to go in with a little bit of concealer because um, I do have quite a lot of posts and marks and scars and also my heavy dark eye circles. And also I'm not feeling a very strong coverage kind of feeling from this foundation. So uh, I'm just going to go in with my concealer. So for concealer, I'm mixing a peach kind of shade and together with a neutral beige color concealer. So I'm just going to mix them two together. This is how I do my concealing nowadays. And I just apply them to my dark eye circles and some of my um, marks and scars or whatever I need to conceal. So the concealer and the foundation is already done. I'm not going to set with any loose powder yet. I'm just going to let it sit on my face and see whether it really oxidize on my face. So we are going to move in straight into the eye makeup. So for the eye makeup, I got two palettes over here. Um, the first one is this very very beautiful 
um, eyeshadow palette is the Good Day Sydney Eyeshadow Palette 01 and for this range they actually came out with two different shades um, one of them is this and the other one I think was like in the with a picture of a Paris or Eiffel Tower I can't really remember uh, however I decided to get this one because I really really like the picture and the packaging and the other palette is the Essence Blush Eyeshadow Palette um, they don't have a specific shade but you can see that it's actually uh, mostly are in like a very neutral beige rosy kind of shade um, yeah I'm not exactly sure which palette to use um, let me just open them up and take a look at the color first before we officially decide so I'm just going to cut the plastic open okay so yeah this is the packaging very very beautiful and gorgeous kind of uh, picture whoa okay so these are the colors and there's actually like a very small tiny mirror over here which i think is really really convenient uh, let me just remove the plastic again so much plastic so these are the colors in the good day sydney palette and again um you can see that they do have a mixture and combination of like neutrals um, beige brown kind of color and they also have this gorgeous olive green and this really really a pretty Tiffany blue or ocean blue kind of color with shimmers inside uh, let me see if I can do a couple of color swatch wow okay the powder is very very smooth now let's just see if the color payout is as good as the powder texture so I'm just going to randomly swatch some colors so this is the orange brown shade and then we have the olive green and also we have the blue this is amazing just look at the color payout and the shimmer is so pretty wow okay so these are the random colors and for the other palette is the essence blush eyeshadow palette um i actually got something similar from one of their collection like was it last year or the year before I can't remember um, it was in this um, same kind of packaging but they have like little little animals like birds and dogs on them uh, I can't exactly remember what was the color the other one was in like a very neutral beige brown kind of color so um, in the end I decided to get this one instead which has a combination of brown and neutrals and also some uh, pink rosy shades uh, let me see if I can get this to open up okay so this is how the packaging looks like and the colors really really pretty and gorgeous color again um, like I mentioned they have like a mixture of gold, neutral, brown, rosy pink shades um, with matte and shimmer color, text, different kind of texture. So I'm just going to again do some very very random swatch. Um, okay, let's just go for this reddish pink kind of color and the gold. I like the gold. And let's just go for the dark brown shade over here. Uh, let me just swatch them over here. This is the dark brown shade. And then we have this. This is the gold color, I believe. Yeah, this is the gold color. Um, however, it's not looking very gold on my skin. Uh, okay, the last one. Yeah, the colors are really, really all very gorgeous. Um, now I have a hard time deciding which palette do I want to use. Do I want to go for this one? Or do I want to go for this? Um, because I have no idea what kind of makeup look to do today. Um, okay, you know what? Um, I'm just going to go for um, this palette today. And I'm going to try to incorporate a little bit of the green uh, and the brown shades over here. So uh, let's just get started straight away. All right, first, I'm going to prime my um, eyes with some eye primer. Let me see if I 
and bring you guys closer in a little bit more okay I think that's good enough okay first of all I think I'm gonna go in with a very safe uh, basic color I'm just going to get a small flat brush and go in with this um, beige color and I'm just going to pat this on my entire eyelid fluffy brush and I'm going to use this as a crease color cut off the excess and I'm just going to use this to contour my eye crease Right, next I'm changing to like a small bullet brush and I'm going to go in with the shade I'm gonna go in with this shade over here I'm afraid this is gonna be turned out like a very neutral natural kind of makeup and I'm just going to place this towards the end of my eye area and I'm gonna blend it forward I'm taking an even smaller bullet brush um, I'm going to go in with this matte dark brown color and I'm just going to place this at the outer edge of my eye and just slowly blend it inwards so My upper eyelids are done and next I'm going to be using um, this palette and I'm going to take this shade over here and I'm just going to use this color as my inner corner highlight and also I'm going to place this onto my under eye area over here this makeup look is turning out to be very normal, natural, brown, beige kind of daily makeup look. I don't know. I mean, because the colors that I've used are mainly like neutrals, beige, and brown, uh, which is something that I normally use. Okay, I'm done with the inner corner highlight and things like that. And um, gosh, I don't know. I mean, um, it's looking very, very kind of normal. I guess okay you know what I am going to try to incorporate this shimmery metallic olive green um, onto my under eye area so I'm going to take a small flat brush and I'm just going to place this onto my under eye area from the back and bring it forward looking slightly much more better um, I know you guys can't tell from the camera screen but from the mirror um, I think the olive green is really really quite pretty and I think it's actually complementing this eye makeup quite well yeah, so just to spice things up a little bit yeah so that it's looking slightly different from my normal daily kind of makeup with a little hint of olive green Okay, and I think that's it with the eyeshadow and I also went in with a gel eyeliner um, that's from Bobbi Brown Okay, so I'm going to move on to mascara next and also quickly do my eyebrows and I'll be right back Okay, so mascara are done, eyebrows are done um, The foundation is looking pretty good on my skin so far, um, no oxidation So I'm going to set it with some powder and for powder I got their You Better Work um, Fixing Powder and it's actually dream proof and waterproof so I suppose it should be long lasting as well so inside um, they actually came with this very flimsy very thin um, sponge which I'm not going to use 
Uh, I'm going to use my loose powder brush. Just get as much as you can onto the brush. And just going to set my face. I have an oily T-zone. So I'm going to focus more on my T-zone and also both sides of my cheeks. Wow, this powder is very very matte looking. Which I suppose is good for oily skin or combination skin. It's really setting everything into place nicely. Very very matte kind of finishing which I really really like. Okay, so that's it for the foundation and the powder. And next, I'm going to move on to the blusher, highlight and bronzer. And for that, I actually got their this palette. And this is their um, Hey Cheeks Blush, Bronzer and Highlight Palette. And I really really like the packaging. It's very, it's very cute, very vibrant, very summery kind of feeling. Okay, let me just cut this open. Okay, so this is the uh, packaging. Very very pretty, very summery kind of feel. Oh my god, look at the colors. Really really pretty, very very gorgeous colors. And they actually do come with this long uh, little side mirror as well, which I think is really really convenient. Uh, let me just get the wrapper out. Right, so these are the colors. Um, I'm thinking and assuming that there are three blusher shades, one highlight and two bronzer shades. And they are also a mixture of shimmers and matte texture. So it just depends on what kind of finishing you prefer for your makeup. And for today, um, I think we have a pretty strong uh, eye makeup look. And I think I'm going to go in with a very rosy kind of color. So I got my blusher brush here. And I think I'm going to go in with this shade. Um, this matte pinkish red rosy kind of color. Right, here goes. Wow. Okay, the color is quite pigmented. So you just gotta be more careful when you are using it. Okay, I think I've gone in too much. So I'm going to fix it with some translucent powder. Remember the rules for blusher, less is more. Slowly build up your blusher color and not going too much all at once, which I have made a mistake over here. Okay, so, this is the color. It's looking really, really, very pigmented on my skin. So, just make sure that you go in little bit by bit, slowly build up the color. Wow, this color is it's really really pigmented. Um, compared to this side, I have gone much lesser on this side. But the color payoff is really really amazing. See, a little goes a long way. So you might want to be a bit more careful when using this palette. Okay, let me just do a very quick random color swatch, which I forgot to do in the first place. Okay, this is the blusher shade that I've used. Wow, the color is amazing. So high pigmented. Um, this is the bronzer shade. And then we have the orange one. The orange blusher. This one has a little bit of very light shimmer. So, yeah, so you might want to take that into consideration. If you don't, if you don't like uh, shimmer in your blusher, Alright, I'm going to try the highlight shade. Wow. Look at that. I think the, sh the highlight shade is amazing. Uh, okay, so I'm done with the blusher. I'm going to go in straight with the highlight. Okay, so this get onto the brush very, very easily. So you might want to be very light-handed when dealing with this palette. And I'm just going to place the highlight onto my cheekbones. Oh my god. I don't know 
know if you guys can tell from the camera. Let me pull you guys in closer a little bit. Okay. You saw it? This is the highlight. Oh my god, this is so pigmented and so shimmery. Wow, look at that glow. This is amazing. Yeah, so again, for the highlight as well, a little goes a long way. Uh, if you don't want to look too metallic or shimmery Again, uh, less is more So I'm going to quickly do the other side I'm going to bring this a little bit onto my brown bone area Also down the bridge of my nose Done. Very very high pigment. The color payoff is amazing. Okay, and next I'm going to try out their their bronzer, and I'm going to try to use this this matte uh, brown shade. I'm going to try to use it for my nose contour. A little bit goes a long way. This palette is really super pigmented and very very uh, with good color payoff. Try to use the same shade uh, for contouring as well for my face contour. So I'm going to take a slightly looser, fluffier brush, and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones and also my jawline. Wow, this is really really amazing. Yeah, I know you guys probably can't tell from the screen, but um, from the mirror, it's actually looking very, very natural, very pretty. from them this time round so I'm just going to go in very randomly with this uh, with this lipstick that I bought from them previously this is their long lasting lipstick in 07 so I'm just going to apply this with my lip brush rosy nude kind of color The whole makeup look is now completed. Um, honestly, I have no idea what to call this makeup look. I just feel and think that this is very suitable for the spring summer season. So now let's just review some of the items that we have used. Um, first of all, we have the Insta Perfect Liquid Makeup, and this is again in the shade 20, very vanilla. Um, honestly, I am slightly disappointed by this foundation because um, it wasn't as full coverage and thick as I would expect it to be. Um, in terms of coverage wise, the coverage is, is actually slightly somewhere between light to medium so it's not exactly like a very full, thick, um, really matte kind of coverage. Uh, it's not something that I was expecting or looking for um, but nevertheless, if you are someone who prefer um, your foundation to be slightly more light to medium coverage then I think this is the one for you. It's really really good for traveling if you don't intend to bring um, your bottle foundations which are, made, which are made of glass and it's very very heavy for your luggage. Um, I think this size is really really great and perfect for traveling. Uh, it's made of plastic so you don't have to worry about the weight and um, yeah so these are the pros and cons. Um, again personally I don't really quite uh, I would say I don't like the coverage um, but I would say that it's it wasn't something that I was expecting it to be. Um, in terms of buildable wise, it's definitely buildable coverage. Uh, let me just do a quick swatch over here. Um, the texture is very liquidy and very easy to blend out. That's one good thing. 
um, but other than that, in terms of coverage wise, if you have a lot of flaws, like uh, any marks and scars or very very serious dark eye circles, um, then I don't think this is definitely going to work for you. You might want to consider something with a more heavier coverage or you might have to go in uh, with consider like what I did uh, earlier on. Yeah, so um, yeah, this was a little slight disappointment for me. Uh, next, we have the You Better Work Fixing Powder. Um, personally, I love this compact powder a lot. Um, first of all, I like that it actually helps to mattify my face. I have an oily T-zone uh, combination skin. So it really helps to uh, mattify my face, um, set the foundation really in very, very well. Um, as for its gym proof and waterproof, uh, I'm not so sure about that. I might have to test it out someday. Um, but overall, I really really like this compact powder. Um, I would say the only downside is that it will be much more better if they do come with a mirror over here, so that it's easier to you know uh, touch up your face when you bring this out. And also, again, the sponge is um, I don't know. I I am definitely not going to use this sponge for anything. Um, it's really really very flimsy, very thin, so it's not. It's not exactly perfect for touching up your face, so I think I still prefer to use my powder brush. It's like this translucent powder, so it's great for any skin tone. Yeah, so I think this um, compact powder is something that you can consider to um, get it if you have oily T-zone, oily skin, and if you're looking for something to really uh, mattify your, your foundation. Yeah, so this is something that I personally quite like it. Uh, next, we have the eyeshadow palette. Uh, we have the Good Day Sydney Eyeshadow Palette. Yeah, so this is in the shade 01. They have a total of two different palettes. So you might want to check them out at the drugstore and test them out uh, before you do any purchase. For the eyeshadow palette, personally, first of all, I think the packaging is amazing. Very, very pretty, very gorgeous packaging uh, this time around. And for the colors inside, um, I would say that the color payoff is pretty amazing. Uh, most of the colors are quite high pigment. The color payoff is, is really really quite uh, quite pigmented. And if you are looking for something a little bit out of your comfort zone like normal, uh, neutral, beige, brown, uh, you might want to consider this palette because it comes with a very amazing olive green color and some metallic blue color. So you can definitely play around much more with this palette. Uh, to create a different eye makeup look. Next, we have the um, blush eyeshadow palette. I would say that the colors inside are very, very normal, very neutral, uh, very daily basis kind of makeup colors. Yeah, so you have all the rosy pink and rosy red, uh, the brown, the nudes, and all the neutral colors. So it's definitely a very, very safe palette if you prefer something that is much more. Uh, much more natural, looking for something more brownish um, for work, for school. Um, I think this palette is uh, also quite well to get it if you are a fan of this kind of very neutral colors. And next we have their Hey Cheeks Blush Bronzer and Highlight Palette. And honestly, I got to admit that among all these items that I've got, this is by far my most favorite palette. First of all, the packaging is very cute and adorable, very summery kind of vibes. And second of all, you basically get everything together in one whole palette. So you get like three blusher shades, one bronzer. And I think earlier on, I did make a mistake. I think this one should also be a highlight shade. So it's probably for people with slightly darker skin tone. So yeah, you basically get like two highlight, one bronzer and three blusher. And honestly, I feel that it's very convenient to bring this palette for traveling. So you basically just um, bring this along and you already completed your blush, bronzer and highlight. Yeah, and uh, honestly for this fraction of, of the price, I think it's very worth to get it. However, one thing you might want to take note is that the powder are actually quite uh, loose in terms of the texture. So when you go in with your brush, you might have to go really really light handed. And the color payoff is actually pretty good, I would say. Uh, it's, quite slightly pig it's quite high pigmented. Yeah, so it's just that the powder texture is slightly looser. So you might want to be more careful when you um, go in with your brush. Other than that, I think this is a very wonderful and convenient palette. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also for more of my daily life updates. 
feel free to follow me on my Instagram account. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!